<clears throat> How's it going, everybody? I'm going to do the uh, raffle this afternoon. I was going to do it yesterday, but I didn't have the time. But uh, I'm going to do that. But real quickly, I just want to uh, show my garage sale pickup I got today. I was walking around from like 8.45 this morning to like noon. Only found one thing. It's three games. And it's the one thing that sucks about not driving. It's trying to hit garage sales. You know, I got to hit the ones that I see at video games. You know, and unfortunately, like, I miss out on other ones and stuff. It's like I walked. My town's big, so I walked, like, 45 minutes just to these three. <clears throat> and then I'm walking around to other ones, you know. It's like they could have had good stuff, but it was just too late or whatever. But uh, what I got was uh, $5. It was a Crash Collector's Edition. It's got three Crash games in there. It's for the PlayStation. It's got a Crash Bash. Crash Team Racing and uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped. I've never played a Crash game. I'll probably sell these. It does pretty, you know, pretty decent on eBay. Better than what I paid for it. But uh, uh, two of these were made by Naughty Dog. One of them wasn't. Cause I know Naughty Dog was originally the ones who made the Crash Bandicoots. It's kind of funny, like with those and like the Spyros, the games Insomniac originally made, were like it's like those two like series like were the best when they were making them, and then they kind of like slipped, like I don't know, like after another developer took over, it's like I don't know if that's just because the publisher publisher wants those pumped out quick, or the, the developers just aren't as good, it could be a little bit of both, but uh, maybe I'll put some gameplay up, I'm not sure, they're all, you know, they got all their manuals, this is in pretty good shape, it's got the box for it, the box is a little busted up, still cool though. I actually got last summer, I had gotten the uh, collector's edition for the Spyros, the first three. It didn't have the box though. That's my lone pickup for the three, and it came as like the first garage that I went to. <clears throat> so, the other ones I guess were kind of a waste for me because they didn't have stuff I wanted. They had pretty good stuff overall though, but uh, that's the pickup and uh, on to the uh, raffle. Here's the uh, names in there. It's 13 entries. Thanks to everybody who entered. Oh, that's them in there. I write the names on loose leaf because I only have like three pages of printer paper left. That's what I obviously am using to print out shipping labels. This is the perfect box to shake shit up in. It's the perfect raffle box. There we are. Yeah. The winner is Captain eighty five Kurt for the manuals. Congratulations. I don't know how that's gonna come off on the uh, camera, but uh, Captain eighty five Kurt is the winner of the manuals. Cool. I want to say thanks again to everybody who entered and uh, congratulations to him. You know, whenever you can get me your information and I'll, uh, you know, I'll send it out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever's good. <clears throat> I'll probably do another one in like two weeks. I'm trying to think. It might be for like a controller or something. I don't know yet. I may do it for this. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, uh, commit, commit to this. So I don't want anybody to like think of, you know, fucking over that if I don't do it. But I may do my next raffle for uh, this Sega Saturn controller here. With the uh, analog stick. I'm not sure though. It's, I may, I may not. I don't know. But uh, that's that. And one, once again, thanks everybody for uh, entering. Congratulations to uh, Captain85Kurt. And uh, thanks everybody for checking it out. And have a good day.